Good hello guys and gals, Rick Nig here and thank you for joining me with another episode of Empires of the Undergrowth. And of course I wanted to redeem myself. Thank you so much for the support that you have shown me in the last couple episodes. I really do appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I really do guys. Um, and I do appreciate all the likes and all the shares. I think this is a fantastic game. I'm enjoying it so much. I'm not going to do much explaining. I'm going to explain what I'm doing, but like not the meaning behind it. I'm going to let you guys take care of that. Look at video one or the first video of the gameplay. And I do a lot of explaining there so uh, you can get up to date. But here I, I just want to play as much as I can and get as much stuff done as possible. All right, so here we go. We have our little queen here, a big queen actually, big jumbo queen. She's really well fed. Look at this. Oh, the growing pupae. I didn't know that they were making... Oh, are they finishing the seven? Oh, they're picking up all the food. Okay, perfect. They're packing it up. Let's put a couple more storage here and let's expand a little more. Actually, we have 51 food. I'm going to make a few soldier ants, of course. Wait for them to grow before I start expanding because I don't want to start dying so quickly. How's it sound for you guys? Is it too much? I could lower it a little bit. Just a little bit. Alright, there we go. There you go. Alright, are these soldiers coming in? There they are. Look at the beauties. Looks a little gross. Looks like a little worm. But, I mean, that's a life cycle. That's what's going on. There we go. There they are, my soldiers. Anything for my queen. Have you guys ever watched the show? This is probably before some of your time. But if you go back in the 90s, it was called Beast wars and i used to love that it was like computer animation and it, we thought it was like 4k video but it wasn't if you look at the show you can google it you can just go beast wars it's pretty cool it's like transformers but with like robotic animals it's really 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 cool but anyway um there used to be this transformer his name was inferno and he was a red ant and it was funny because he would always so he would be a bad guy uh decepticon but he would fight um thinking like he was always doing the ant thing you know like he was like for the queen and there was no queen and it's just hilarious to me so that's why i named my first episode yes my queen because it reminded me of inferno anyway if you guys know what i'm talking about let me know in the comments i would appreciate that harken back to awesome wonderful times okay let's keep on with the soldier ants you want to get those going so once look what happens i click on the soldier ants they kind of prep the ground and then ant goes and grabs a little poop you know like all poop but it's basically see it's starting to grow right there you see that basically grabs the baby you know the egg and then it turns into the larva and then it turns into the pupa right i looked that up guys i didn't know in the first episode i felt like a derp but now i know what i'm doing kind of not really but i think this is a really big thing guys set food storage up as much as you can everywhere because it doesn't cost anything and that's how they actually go to collect. So your ants will not go and collect anything unless you have food storage available for them. So let's say there's a lot of food, a lot of these blue things, and they don't collect it. It's because you don't have enough food storage. So see, they're storing it. And um, hmm, let me just place that there. One, two, three, four, five. You got 10 in each. And you'll see them start to work. Let me get more worker ants going. Let's get five or six of those. Let's continue digging this way. I have some danger here, which I'm a little bit frightened of, guys. So I'm going to go this way. I don't have a huge, I was going to say hive, a huge colony yet. And so I'm a little weary in my movements right now. I'm really weak, basically. I want to build our defenses by getting more soldier ants. I really want to work on those. Once I get enough of those, I'll be able to fight my way through a lot of this. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so a lot of my worker ants are growing. You see this? I have 6 out of 10, so 4 of them are still growing. And you have um, almost 16 workers, which is good. You see them laying down the, the other ants over here. Let's continue. They're eating. Hopefully, I don't think there's a guy down here. I think right now, it's guys, it's a set map, so there isn't. it's not random gen. I'm sure later it might be. 
hopefully if you guys like this score hearing I'm sure that's I mean I don't even have to tell you guys I think that's pretty much on your list right to do a uh, procedurally generated map I think that's pretty much a thing for you guys alright so we got a good amount of ants we need more soldiers I thought I had more than that let's lay a couple alright a lot of worker ants which is good at 16 it's a good amount I'm happy with that where was the food? Did I go into that area, guys? Did they collect it all? What's this? I wonder what that is. Okay. Let me look. Now, this ground, guys, is pretty much useless, as I show you. Can't dig it. Can't lay anything on there. So, just be aware of that. Okay, I don't have enough food. So, you see there's food here. So, I don't know if that's they're collecting it or what. Let's see. So, this should be 30 amount of food that can go there and they're prepping that okay let's keep it moving guys let's keep let's go swimming. now I'm just holding down as I'm moving along I remember some of these tiles will not open let me bring my soldiers down here I always like to bring them in the front lines as much as possible so that if we do have a little bit of an invasion with the little beetles that they don't kick my butt for sure all right, there is food here, but I gotta watch out. I definitely gotta watch out with soldiers. Make sure they're defending my area. Oh, right there, right? That sounds bad. There's one right there. Come on, guys, do it. Do it, kill that guy. Now let's immediately place a couple food storage areas right over here. And, oh, how many died? Did any die? I don't think any soldiers died. Let's continue laying those buddies down. I always say workers are important. They speed up your work. But if you don't have enough soldier ants, you're you're cooked, guys. You're cooked. Like that's that's your whole colony right there. So let's keep it moving. Let's have expand down south. I'm calling it south. Hopefully it's south. It's a big area. I feel confident with my soldier ants right now. Just place them over here in case there's any dangers on this side and and more soldiers growing. I'll have 15, which I think is a good amount. I'm gonna lay a couple more workers. And I think I'll do a little bit more food storage. And we'll keep it moving. Alright, let's just get this whole area right here. Because this, this is a bad area. I want to stay away from here. I don't I don't want to go there anytime soon. Let's get food storage going. Don't forget about food storage, guys. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything. And you can store up to 10 food. So remember, if you don't lay that food storage down, you're never going to collect food. So let me make two soldiers. I think that's good. I want to really rack up my soldier count. No food, but I have space for 5, 10. I'm using it all. That's okay. Let's come up here. I think we'll be able to face these enemies over here there might be two I don't know if the exclamation means there's two or not we'll find out right now uh oh I gotta get my soldiers over here don't forget it's better to get them on the front line so they don't have the time to pass or get close to your queen because if they kill your queen you're done let's place them right here and have them just go in alright there you go there's two of them this should be able to take care of it but they're tough. They're tough enemies, guys. Don't underestimate these guys. Look at my first video. They got me right away. So, first thing I want to do is lay a bunch of food storage. Don't forget that. Remember, they can't collect food if you don't have that food storage available to them. And remember, these critters, they actually eat. Oh, oh they kind of pick apart and they make food out of them, I guess. Or they are food. They just pick them apart. All right, so let's keep going up north. I don't know if there's anything up here. I have encountered some of these little bug guys, beetle guys, without um, the exclamation point. So be careful with that. Really be careful with that. Let's grow a couple more of these crazy workers. Want to increase our workload for sure. Let's get more over here one more soldier oh no not enough food I need 10 food well they're collecting so let's add more storage 
I remember the way I progressed was putting a lot of storage down. And here, this is a, a really crazy area. So let me let me bring all my soldiers over here and see how my situation is doing. All right. I only have about five minutes left, and I'm going to go as much as I can and keep recording so that I can, you know, get you this for the next episode. All right. So I have 17 soldier ants. I can get one more, right? Well, let me get this area. I know there's food over here. Okay, that's that's not good. There's three of them. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay, they're really good. Hopefully, yeah, I think that their um, slug disco is working on health meters for these guys, and that's amazing for the ants, so you know how much is left of health. So that's fantastic. I'm just going to make a food storage space all over here. And let me tell you something. They collect a lot faster, obviously, if you put the food storage over here. Look at that. Look how fast they go. All right, now that I have all this food, of course, let's add a lot more ants. Let's add more soldiers. Yeah, that'll be good because I want to really get in this area. So let them start digging away over here. Very cool. Man, hard at work, guys. I love it. I love it. Look at that. Hard at work. All right. Here I know there's something big. Let me bring my soldiers down here. Once they get over here, I have 21 of them. 17 right now. Okay. I have a few more growing. So we should be fine. Let's just do this area. Right there. Okay. They should be able to come in fairly quickly and knock down any enemies in that area. There should be one or two. I'm guessing one with that exclamation point. Yeah, there's one. Okay. You're attacking. Alright. Very good, guys. Very good. I'm happy. Happy, happy, happy. Happy, happy, happy. Bunch of that. Let's get a couple more soldiers. And, uh, you don't want to lax up on the workers. Let's get those going keep the soldiers over here there's a lot of food in this area guys a lot of food let's call them over here oh okay just one guy there we should be able to take care of him fairly quickly and food storage there we go yeah look at that baby go look at them chomp 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 away man I love ants guys real ants so 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 hard working very admirable I love dance when I was a little kid they were like love to play with them and mess with them step on them <laughs> not anymore I don't I don't step on ants okay so we got a good portion of the map exposed let's get a lot more soldiers going and now that we have a lot of food let's just keep the worker ants number going and of course here, let's do it like this. Let's bring the soldiers down here. And here's how I like to pick up the area. So I don't just go willy-nilly. I make one entrance. So the soldiers are here, and they kind of keep this guy. Because if I go all like this, there'll be other ways of other enemies to come. So as long as I'm really watching my area, I'll be good. I want one entrance to the queen. That's it. I don't want anything more than that. And I would suggest placing food storage close to where there is food. It helps out a lot. All right, let's go this way. We already have the soldiers in the proper spot. We move them a little bit, but it won't make much of a difference. They're really watching what they're doing. They're really good. The AI on this is awesome. It's letting me focus on game and paying attention on the things I need to pay attention to. Just get all this exposed. Happy with that. Look at that, guys. We got 47. 47. Whoa. Okay, let's move these guys over here. And I'm playing pretty quick right now. I'm trying to get as much in this episode as possible. Yes. A lot of food storage. There we go. Look at that. 
The guys will be done. All right, let's open up this area. Another baddie over here. Boom. There's my timer, guys and gals. Thank you so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoy this and you want to see episode three because I'm happy to put it up for you and have you enjoy it. All right, let me just finish this up. There we go. And we'll have them collect food. And we'll see you guys and gals next time. Don't forget, be hopeful.